This video shows how to control several cameras with the help of Remotex. The setup to show the principle of the Remotex consists of two computers connected by a network, where on one of the computers a camera is operated by HiPIC, an application software from Hamamatsu Photonics Germany. The same can also be done with HPD, TA, another application software from Hamamatsu. RemoteX is the server component in a client server application and runs on the computer where the HiPIC is installed. The client component can run on any other computer that has a network connection to the server. In this configuration, the HiPIC can be controlled from the client computer and image data can be transferred to the client. To turn a computer into a Remotex server, it is sufficient to just start the Remotex program. A client program can now access the application from another computer through the network. For demonstration, we use the client program provided with the HiPIC but customers can also program their own client program using the documented RemoteX language. To start the application, we click Start App on the client computer and can see that the application starts on the server. Then we can control various parameters of the application on the server like the camera's exposure time by changing the related values on the client program. Equally, we can start the live mode at the application by selecting Execute Live Mode in the section Complex Actions and click to start. In many cases, it can be an advantage to use several computers in such configuration because the systems are locally apart or a single computer isn't able to handle the data of very powerful cameras. A good example is an experiment where we want to observe the same sample with several cameras and store the data of the cameras locally on every computer. For this demonstration, we use two client computers, each of them operating a Hamamatsu Orca Flash 4, which delivers 800 megabytes of data per second and a RAID array, which is capable to store this data in real time. We use the client to start data acquisition on every server. For this, we select Execute Sequence Mode and click Start. To define the details of the sequence acquisition, we can select a parameter from a list and select a new value. To show this, we select a parameter number of loops and set it to 1000 on every server. After the sequence mode has been started, we can watch the images display on a separate monitor to observe the process of the acquisition on the client's dialog. Taking a look at the application itself, we can see that the streaming to hard disk process is not disturbed by the transfer of the image data to the client. This is mainly due to the fact that only a fraction of the images are transferred to the client and also in a reduced resolution, still largely sufficient to watch what happens on the server from the client's computer. At the end, all the experiment data is stored safely on the hard disks of the servers for evaluation.